Hi everyone and welcome to my latest video. I'm Random Rainbow 74 and in this video we are continuing from episode part one. This is part two and when we left it off we had to buy a plane and send it on a minimum of two different, well send it to a minimum of two different airfields. So we shall unpause the game. We will buy a plane. There we go. And we will create new line. So we basically want it to go from there to there to there. And can we tell it to come back here again? And there we go. Right, so hopefully, let's put that on that line, line seven, and that will complete that. That shouldn't take too long. Your airplane marks out the most elegant curves imaginable. The Yankees are bursting with envy, and the customers are already lining up. Okay. Oh, I've just got to sell the airplane straight away, have I? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Following the success in Le Mans, the greatest venture in the history of aviation now lies ahead. The leap across the English Channel. Time is short. Your rival, Hubert Latham, is ready and waiting. But your friend, Blériot, is going to beat him to it. He's currently developing a new model, specially designed for this challenge. The aircraft's fuselage needs to be lighter and more aerodynamic. This calls for specially produced wooden parts. Your so, fiercest rival, yeah. Hubert Latham, is closer on your heels than you thought. It would take a miracle for you to beat him across the English Channel. But miracles do happen again and again. If need be, you've got to lend them a helping hand. Okay, so, right, this bonus task, what's this? Um... Hubert Latham has set out on a practice flight in his spare plane. Meanwhile, the model he wants to use to venture leaping across the English Channel stands unguarded in the hangar. A good opportunity to make a few modifications to the competition's airplane. Keep tabs on when Latham is furthest away from the airfield. Sabotage the plane so that Latham has to make more test flights. How the hell do I sabotage that? So do I just have to click, keep clicking sabotage? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Right, let's just carry on with this I think so we've got to get planks to the workshop over here and uh, okay so I think we'll just put a truck depot in here and right, truck station Latham is flying so should I every time he goes to fly I'll tell you what we're going to put that right there and let's sabotage again Latham has set out oh. to fly across the Too channel late. ahead of you oh. whether he had enough training or felt confident due to your attempt oh I don't know <laughs> I don't know what we had to do really there so um, we'll we'll just leave that um, more concentrating on the um, the main parts of the um, campaign so new line anyway back back to what I was doing new line we're taking planks from there to there and we need some vehicles and where We've got a truck depot here, haven't we? Yeah, which is handy. Um, buy vehicles, so planks. So we want the fastest one, which is 
Well, that's the, yeah, so that one. Um, we just get six, I suppose. And so that's going on that line there. Oh, and that one. Okay. So I don't know if I properly failed that bonus. Yeah, I think I did. Um, yeah, never mind. Okay, uh, never mind. Never mind. Right, let's concentrate on the main part of the campaign. What I'll do is, um, as usual, rather than you sitting around waiting for all these trucks to get all the way over here, I shall bring you back when we are a bit closer to completing it. Okay, looks like we're just about to complete this part of the what a campaign. Fabulous flying machine. Now you ought to rustle up more fuel so that the plane doesn't run out of juice halfway across. Okay, so we need to deliver fuel from there to there. Okay. Um, so again, I assume uh, all we might do is just stick a truck depot on here and see if that, uh, that should. Yeah, it does connect to it. So yeah, so I think, can we get it round? Oh, we can actually. We can actually get that quite far away, but I'll stick it there. And then that should be, all right. It just makes the journey a little bit closer. Not a lot, but a little bit. <laughs> um, and with this, we'll just put this a bit further down. So we'll put that there, I think. That'll do. Right, where's my nearest truck depot? There it is. Um, let's create the line first, though. So we're going from the fuel there and we need to take it to, where are we going? Oh, yeah. Down to here. Here we go. And where's my truck station? There, um, it's here, isn't it? Right, so buy vehicles. Uh, okay, um, I think we'll I'll just do six again, I suppose. There we go. And we will set them on this line. There we go. So we need to deliver 35. So obviously that's going to take a little... Yeah, so we actually need... Um, could do with one more vehicle on there really couldn't I um, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just buy one more and then hopefully what we can do is just complete that in um, one one hit kind of thing rather than having to wait for a vehicle to go all the way there and then all the way back but having said that I don't know if there's going to be enough there. Oh, no, we should be okay, actually. Yeah. So between them, there should be a total of 35 once that seventh one arrives, which he's on his way now. So there was five in the first one, five in the second one, five in that one. So, yeah, so we're just going to have to wait for this seventh one to arrive at the airfield with the fuel to complete this mission. Well, this part of the campaign. All fairly simple at the moment. Um, I'd actually say it's actually, a little, well, so far, I'm going to completely jinx it. So far, I'd say this is a lot easier than the other ones, actually. But I think I've learned a lot since playing the campaign missions and better ways to set things up. And rather than just jump in with trains on everything, 
<laughs> like I normally do. Um, but yeah, so we've got to wait for this vehicle. Road vehicle 34 has got to get all the way down to here. Everything has been taken care of. The weather looks good. But regrettably, poor Mr. Blerio broke both arms during the preparations. Now you're supposed to have the honor to carry out the maiden flight across the channel. Buy an aeroplane at the airfield in Calais and establish a route from Calais to Dover. Okay, so we need a new route and we new line and we're going from Calais to Dover. Here we go. So let's buy let's buy an aeroplane and stick it on uh, that line, the brown one. Nice brown one. What a lovely colour. There we go. Right. Okay. So we just have to wait for this to land. Shouldn't, I wouldn't have thought it'd take too long. There we go. That was a short flight, wasn't it? <laughs> Touchdown. A brilliant achievement. You're the pride of the nation. Except that your friend is taking it badly that the honour of crossing the channel wasn't given to him. From now on, he's going to keep his hands off flying and stick to designing aircraft. Because they're a hot item now. Okay, so we've got to sell the aeroplane again. It, it likes getting me to um, sell the aeroplanes, doesn't it? The champagne industry is hosting a big flight contest. The point is, flying and champagne have a lot in common. Both are a tingling experience and the perfect match for daredevils. Mr. Blerio has placed his latest design at your disposal. Use it to scoop up the grand prize of the flight week in REMS. Monsieur Daniel, an aviation enthusiast from the petroleum industry, is tinkering with a new blend of fuels. Help him by providing your services. He'll return the favour by filling up your tank. Okay, so I need to deliver fuel to there now. So that would be a new line. And we are going from there to there. An Austrian swashbuckler is pursuing an audacious plan to fly without an airplane. The self-styled Batman wants to design a flight suit and use it to jump off the Eiffel Tower, then soar like an angel over the rooftops of the city. The Austrian needs fine, pliable types of wood for his bat suit. Obtain the desired material. Um, deliver planks to his workshop, which is there. Uh, okay. Let's just get this fuel line on the go first, and then we will look at doing that. Uh, what did I do with my... Oh, it's here. So, road depot, and we need... Why not buy six? <laughs> Seems to be the go-to number. Um, and that is going down to here. Oh, I've only slipped. There we go. And line 11. Okay. And this nutter wants some wood. So we will get the planks and we'll do a new line going from here to here. Oh, no, we need a, need a, um, all right, let's just delete that for now. Need a truck stop, don't I? Ah, oh dear, getting ahead of myself. Um, I think we'll just put this one fairly close. Just put that one there. Right, try that again. New line from here 
to here. So the French nutter can pretend that he's um, Batman or some rubbish. Um, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that the Eiffel Tower's there, isn't it? That's quite like that. Um, truck depot. Where is my truck depot? Uh, have I not got a truck depot near here? Is that the closest one? It is, isn't it? Um, actually, where's the wood? The wood's coming from. Yeah, we've got a truck depot. I'm just, there. There we go. I'm probably missing an easy way to see where your truck depots are, but there we go. And I'm just going to put four on this line, I think. Um, yeah, I'll just put four on this line. Right, so we're delivering fuel and delivering wood. So I think that might be the fuel there now on its way to here. The old bus stops are getting quite busy, aren't they? That's got 40 people. I, th I think passenger transport is a bit underrated. Um, and I think it's going to be quite a good thing to... Well, cargo and passenger transport are good things to focus, focus on both of them, basically. Um, the passenger transport is just as important as the cargo transport, I feel. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're delivering the planks to this nutter over here. So, is there any, anything about to arrive? Are these on their way now? Nope. That must be part of the bus route, I'm guessing. Uh, is that the bus route, or are they going to get... I don't know what's going on. Where are the planks? Are oh, the planks coming from there, aren't they? Right, is any of the fuel about to arrive? It doesn't look like... Oh, there's one there. Yeah, that's one taking the fuel down to Calais. Okay. I'd really, I think this is going to complete fairly, I was going to say fairly quickly, but he's got no wood. So I don't know why they do that sometimes. Neither is that. They're going to go all the way here and then all the way back to get wood, aren't they? And there's plenty of wood there. No pun intended. Um, has he got any wood? What, why do they, what line is that? That's line 12. So there's nothing actually on line 12. Why is there? Right, what have I done? Uh, is it because, uh, you know what it is. I think it's because it's so full, it can't put anything on line 11. Is that why it was struggling to put stuff on uh, line 11, line 12? I'll tell you what, this massively up, up. Let's just double what's on that. try and make it through a bit of that backlog of stuff yeah I, I i don't know whether that was purely for the fact that 
there was so much on the other line and there wasn't just enough there wasn't enough space for it or yeah i mean it doesn't say how much wood we need to to deliver to the french nutter so i assume when one of the trucks get there gets there it's just going to complete it i would have thought do you know what, for a minute there i thought i put all them extra trucks on the wrong line um <laughs> okay so do i literally need one plank to arrive right he's got two planks he is not too far away i suppose and here he comes with his bit of wood goodness gracious the contraption that the batman intends to fly with doesn't look very airworthy. Protect him from himself. Steer him away from his crazy plan by giving him champagne to get him thinking about something else. Basically, they want me to get him pissed now. TL. Right, so let's just stick another truck depot in over here. Uh, we might as well see how far we can come up here. Right, so I think there will do. Um, new line to get in pissed. Joe, I can never remember where the trucks, um, truck depots are. Where, oh, there's one there. No, no. Oh, there's one here. Right. Uh, right. The fastest one we got. Let's just get four. Uh, and where were we? Oh, here. On the pink line. Here we go. So, delivering fuel, we've done 20... Oh, we're nearly, nearly there. So, it looks like these next few will complete that. Yep, so this one will complete the fuel to Calais. It won't be long before the grand flight week starts. The organising committee needs help with the preparations. A grandstand needs to be built for the guests. As for the beverages, no one should be left high and dry. Deliver 35 planks for the stand and 30 bottles of champagne for the event two rims 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 however you say that word um okay so i've got to deliver 35 planks uh and champagne to the event right okay so i need planks and champagne to there basically um all right okay so another truck depot um so where have we got to come from so champagne and planks all the way over to here um so i'm just wondering whether we build a little bit of road a little bit of extra road in here and we'll yes it will okay and then we should be able to put i mean we might even be able to now that we'll put a bit of road in yeah see i can actually put the truck depot over here and that does connect still Okay, so we need a new line and we need planks and champagne. So let's do the planks first. So from there to there. New line and we need the champagne. Where's the champagne gone? Oh, it's over there. So, 
from there to yeah. Okay, so we need some vehicles for that. Um, completely forgot where my closest road depot was again. Okay, so let's buy. Um, so that's six. We we'll just put six on each, I think. Um, I don't see why not. So we want. So we should have two lines coming in here. So we do line 14 and then line 15. So that will be the planks and the champagne on its way to the airport. Um, good, good mix, aviation and alcohol. Trust the French. Um, Okay, so we just got to wait. Oh, no. oh, the good man no. is three sheets to the wind and gung ho. He's already climbing up the tower. Take precautions to make his landing a soft one. How do I place a haystack under there? What? And at uh, what? <laughs> How? What? Uh, what? Place a haystack under the Eiffel Tower. Where, what? Where is there a haystack? Is there a... Um, hmm. Yeah, what? I'm confused. Well, right, that's just another airport. How do I place a haystack? What? Is this going to be some kind of... Um, uh, is it going to be assets? There we go. Haystack, there we go. Oh, that was a close shave again, but nothing serious. The Batman is more or less in one piece and already staggering off to design a new suit. Bloody hell, look at me figuring that out. Jesus. Whatever next. Okay, so nothing's arrived here yet. Um, no, nothing's arrived there yet. Let's just make sure this is actually getting... Um, Oh, this is rammed as well, isn't it? Let's just put extra cargo buildings on there to help with the stock levels. Um, again, oh, that is stock. I do wonder if that's why too much stock on one line. It was unable to add stock to the other line. Right, let's just make sure this one's okay. Ah. Yeah, I might need to add some buildings to this one as well. God, bloody hell. Let's just chuck loads on there. Right, we've delivered one champagne so far. Oh, okay. Now the planks are going on line 14. Yeah, it seems to be... I wonder if... Um, I wonder if I should learn to use more platforms or or what the score is with that. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll have to have a play around with that. We're just waiting for the champagne and the planks to be delivered, which I should think is going to take a little bit of time. So rather than you... No, not that one. Rather than you sit here and have to... Why is there no champagne getting put on line 15? Do I need to just put more of these on here? 
Um, that's interesting as to why no champagne is going on there, actually. Um, oh, is it? Is it because it's waiting for some to be delivered? It's probably waiting for some to be delivered, I think. Um, I'm not sure. Still no planks have arrived yet. But I'm guessing they won't be far away. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll just watch this first set of planks get delivered. And then I think I'll pause you up um, and bring you back when this is nearly completed, which shouldn't take too long. So it looks like we're gonna complete the champagne one part of this very, very shortly. Um, well, I say very shortly, I thought we were gonna complete it then actually, but maybe not. Um, I don't know if there's an easier way to track what the vehicles are carrying Oh, there we go. He's got five champagne. Uh, line 13, that is, though. Ah. Yeah, that's not for that line, is it? No. <laughs> oh, dear. I thought that was going to be that one going in there. No. What do we need? We need line 14 or... That's line 9... There we go, line 15. He's coming in here. So this will complete the champagne. That completes the champagne part of things. So we're just waiting for the planks to be delivered now. Right, so we're nearly there with the planks. Um, there should literally be another one or two about to go in and complete the planks for us. One more, I think, which is turning in now. We're off. Guests from all over Europe want to marvel at your flying skills. Even the president is here. Show the audience your stuff and win first prize in the long distance race. Okay, so I've got to buy an aeroplane in this airfield and fly it at least 2,000 meters. So, um,. I'll tell you what, let's just quickly see if we can get that done now. Because unfortunately with the PlayStation, you can only record for an hour. And I'm fully aware I'm getting very close to that hour. So what I will try and do is just see if I can quickly get this done in this video. I'm not sure if there's going to be another... Um, I don't know if there's going to be another part to this or if there's more to this or or, or what the situation is. Um, let's just have a look at this taking off and see how long that's going to take. Oh, it's clearly not going to take very long. Okay. So we'll, I'll keep you with me and then we'll see where we're at. But I might have to win this pain. you're that close to winning when an american forces you out in the race for the cup the baroness laroche is obsessed with flying and eager to buy your airplane cool got to sell the airplane again an english publisher a certain lord rawnsley organizes a flying contest from london to paris he wants to use it to prove that no one else is a match for England in the air. But you're going to turn the tables on him. Your friend is delighted by your daring proposal and willing to entrust you with a plane from his latest series if you assist him during production. Various interested parties want to place a large order with your friend Blerio. Newly established flight training schools are showing interest. The same goes for flamboyant thrill seekers and, of course, the military. Which order should your friend accept first? Okay, we have to decide which one to... So I suppose the flight schools would be the better one, wouldn't they? 
Um, military flight schools. I'd assume flight schools would be better because then the military and the stunt flying will know how to fly. <laughs> Mr. Blario has decided to not only manufacture training airplanes, he's going to open his own flight training school too. Give the bold aspiring pilots their first flight lessons. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is end this one here and we will pick it up in part three. Um, this video has gone on a bit now. So, yeah, I think we'll leave that one here. And I'm guessing there's a little bit more to do. So we will pick this up in part three and hopefully get this part of the um, campaign completed in part three. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, please make sure you're subscribed so you can see when the next video is getting released. It really does make a huge difference to the channel if you are subscribed. And I'm sure you hear that a lot with a lot of videos. Um, but yeah, I'm only small, so if you can give me a little bit of a helping hand, all I ask is that you subscribe. That's all. And watch the videos, obviously. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.